Ohne so. <lacht> nice to meet you. Nice to see you again. I'm uh, very happy to see so many people here today. And I'm, I don't know why, but I'm today extremely nervous. <lacht> so let's get started. So let me start with the first question. Um, yeah, did you actually know that in any product interview process you are going to encounter product design questions? Very enthusiastic, failed question. <laughs> Let me ask another question. How many PMs, product, I mean product managers, project managers, business analysts, product owners are here in the audience and passed the product design questions? Amazing. <laughs> Not so many. So that's good. So probably you really didn't know about them. Uh, I also didn't know about them until I, got th until I became the interviewer. So today, just a second, today uh, I basically want to share with you a framework, a simple framework, how you can use that in order to prepare uh, for product design questions, how to answer them, and um, yeah. So I want to highlight on the following topics today. One topic is uh, what is the top number one asked question uh, based on that Top number one asked question, I will guide you through a framework, uh, how you can prepare for that interview, how you can answer them. Uh, I will give you some advices how to prepare before the interview and what to do after that. And what actually designers are looking for uh, in your answers. Uh, but before I will do that, uh, let me a bit introduce myself. As you heard, I'm uh, Ramona Zieman. <laughs> Uh, I am currently working at Endava and I'm stepping right now into the position of becoming a head of design. At the same time, I'm an ex crunch roller and I have been um, preparing. Sorry? Yeah, and a proud mother, yeah. <laughs> And uh, at Crunchyroll, I have been uh, preparing and conducting interviews uh, to hire PMs. Uh, disclaimer, I will not share any secret sauce today. What kind of questions are asked eventually at Crunchyroll? Uh, how is the detailed interview flow? I will just share a basic question which is not just asked at Crunchyroll or I don't even think that we ask that, but uh, mostly when you want to get a job as a PM in any product-oriented company, this question will come, I think, 90%. So what is the top number one? So why we are actually, uh, so what we want to find out basically. Um, so when we asked uh, the top number, ah, sorry, there is a slide missing, I think. Okay, so what is important as a designer if you want, um, if you want to hire a PM? So for us, uh, as a design team, we want to analyze and to understand what are the must-have, good-have, and the bonus qualities um, of a PM which will be joining the team. So that might vary from company to company. Each company defines the um, important skill set, what is important for you, Uh, for the design team and for the, for the company itself, and why. Uh, the other second thing uh, which we want to figure out is how to measure actually a candidate's capabilities. I mean, what kind of questions do we want to ask the candidate in order to figure out if that PM has a product sense? Does the person communicate in a very clear way? Uh, does it have analytical and critical thinking, um, how he provides feedback to designers and how effectively or how, how good he communicates his reasoning. Uh, another reason what I learned in my experience uh, preparing and conducting interviews and my experience is coming majority uh, from Crunchyroll is that it's fucking crucial, sorry for my French, that it's very, very, very important uh, to have this step, to have this process, this interview process step in, in your hiring um, flow. So um, I do believe, and I'm very convinced, if a company uh, which is not 
including designers questions for hiring a product manager will at some certain point fail because um, at the end of the day, the product manager or the, the, the PM is working very close with the designer and you need to um, try to figure out uh, if that person has a product sense, uh, product thinking and can come along with designers. Um, I will just leave it here. So this is uh, when you are not including uh, product design questions in an interview process. So at the end, you as a team, you are not working closely together. Uh, why is it important to involve designers in hiring process? Um, at the end, what we are doing together, um, I mean, the, the constellation product and design is a very tight um, constellation. We are collaborating on a daily basis. Uh, we are the core team which is defining, designing, building and shipping the product. So it's very important that if the designer was not part of the decision process of like whom to hire, um, that might not build at the end uh, and, uh, a great product. Короче, at the end, noi suntem druși, pațan, bratan. So at the end, we, we need to come along together. We are not a separated team. We are a, the core team in a product company or in general in a project uh, if we are not speaking about a product-oriented company. So uh, the top number asked uh, question is like, what's your favorite product and why? The goal of this question is like basically to analyze, um, I mean, your experience as a user, which are using a product which you really like, and how good you can communicate, why is it your favorite product and how it became your product. Um, I can give you a little, um, yes, ex experience which I faced I when I applied for a job at Facebook, I encountered the same uh, question and I knew that this question would come and I was not preparing for that question because I thought, well, I would just share on the fly um, what's my favorite product and why. And I was not prepared for that and I failed very much. I was like really struggling to find the right words. So I, um, I think I will come to the, to the recommendation that um, you actually need to prepare for such a uh, question which will come. So um, what we, um, when we ask you that question, what we actually want to figure out. So we want to understand if you communicate clearly the reasoning why. We also want to figure out like how much did you prepare for that interview. And are you actually really the user of that product? Sometimes people are tending to choose a product which they think that the interviewer might to hear. Then they will choose uh, products like Instagram, Facebook, like very popular products, which they are really using every day, but they cannot really describe very well like why. And you will feel it that they just choose something just to kind of shine bright like a diamond, but at the end where they are failing. And what we actually also want to find out is if, uh, if your answer is unique. By meaning this, um, did you choose a product which is like commonly known or something what is very unique? And I do recommend to choose something what uh, might not be so popular, which might be just used, I mean, an app, for example, which is not uh, very known. So there you will have the chance to shine bright like a diamond, um, because in this way you can convince uh, the interviewer of like, hey, maybe you should try that out. Um, so, my takeaways until now. So, really prepare your answers ahead of time. Show that you are structured, because that's you, you as a PM, you should be a very structured person. So take an advantage to prepare uh, before the interview. This type of question, maybe slightly different, will appear for sure. Um, as well, when you start to speak, uh, try uh, to guide uh, the interviewer through your thought process. I mean, speak loud, uh, 
tell what's the stage of your steps. Uh, if you speak about like how I would like to improve that product, say it. So um, make a smooth transition. Practice, practice and practice. Um, I really recommend to practice that. And the framework, which I will share uh, soon, um, don't take as well that framework as uh, the one and only, because the framework can might differ, depends on um, what kind of product you will choose. And if you practice as well, uh, somehow like trying to figure out how to describe your favorite product, you will see that at the end, if you practice, that the, the, the speech will be much more smooth. Uh, you will speak more natural and it will go like in 50 minutes you can explain in a nutshell a very clear why you have a favorite product. Um, so here are the five components of the framework. So as I mentioned, there is not a master plan, uh, but more or less that will help you a bit to guide and structure your thoughts. So um, in my example, uh, I chose like share a bit, share at first what is your favorite product and like the personal use case, the competitors, what are the favorite features because probably because of some features in that app you uh, like that product and, be it, and it became your favorite product, how you eventually improve it because uh, not every favorite product might be super perfect. There are always things to improve. And the other thing is um, like some metrics. Uh, let me start with the personal use case. So, uh, of course, mention what is your favorite product. Share a briefly a story behind that, how it became your favorite product. Don't jump right away into like, who are the users, why? I mean, like, don't, don't get into like technical things. Like, share really a story behind that, why it became your favorite product. Explain the reasoning why, why you was looking for exactly that product, from where are you coming from. The other one is the competitors. So when you are sharing uh, your product, try as well in the context of like, I mean, for sure you made some research. Uh, um, so share a bit in a nutshell of like, what are the competitors? Um, mention maybe some, um, uh, why other competitors, why other products failed for you. So bring that in the context why you chose exactly that product. Um, list of features. So here I would uh, recommend like calling out the features, which uh, it aligns a bit with the previous slide, like what are the features which were winning for you and uh, which were most compelling and uh, what other um, alternatives missed. What's like the use case, why you're using that and how it helps you. So try to bring a bit as well um, what have been the pain points and how uh, it helped you that you are using it, for example, on a daily basis or why that app or that product in general, it doesn't need to be an app, it can be as well a website or a physical product, why it became uh, so important for you. Um, here, I want to share an example, an Instagram example. For example, I'm not very much, I like to use Instagram, but I prefer, for example, using Instagram stories instead of posting a post. And I tried to analyze myself, like, why I'm doing that. And I, for, for me, posting a story is creating less barrier to do that rather than creating a post. For a post, I need to think about a catchy title, I need to think about hashtags, I need to think about a text, I need to think that this text needs to be written good so that people might want to read that. And, um, and as well, people can comment on a post where I maybe sometimes don't want that people comment or I don't want that other people see who is commenting or who is my friend, even if they can see that. Um, so, I like more Instagram stories because they disappear after 24 hours. Um, it's just me who can see who liked my pictures, uh, who comment on my pictures. So um, tell as well if you describe um, if you describe your favorite app or your favorite product, and there is a specific feature with that. 
and where you can compare it as well, why a certain feature become your favorite feature, put it in a context and describe within the app uh, differences between why you're using a certain fe feature rather than another one. Share as well, if there is a case, uh, what are the possible improvements of your product? Um, how would you improve it? Um, describe the reasoning why, describe somehow a bit a story and um, provide suggestions and as well what is the outcoming goal. If you want to suggest something, then explain as well a reasoning uh, why you would do it. And the other thing, I think you, you would become uh, best friends of designers if you suggest like, hey, let's do some user testing. Um, so if you in that framework, you suggest some improvements, that should be always somehow connected with like, hey, let's user test that. If you describe a pain point in your favorite product, um, might be very subjective, right? Because it's maybe just your problem or your thing which you might think you want to improve. So suggest like, hey, I have this problem, but maybe there are more people who encounter as well the same issue. So let's uh, suggest some user research, uh, user test that, try to figure out uh, if I'm not the only one and, um, and explain, like, if you have a list of different improvements, how would you prioritize them, why, and uh, how to measure at the end as well the success. So my takeaways, uh, as I said, practice, 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 uh, do that, for, before the meeting and as well uh, before the interview and when you are as well done with the interview uh, try I mean most of the time you might not get directly feedback how you um, finished that interview um, but you get a feeling if you kind of did a good job or not so try uh, to t pick one app which you have on your phone and try to analyze why you are constantly coming to this app. What, what is it keeping you? And is it really your favorite product? Like, what does it solve to me? What does it bring it to me? Um, and try to write that down and practice somehow based on some uh, key steps, um, the reasoning behind. As I mentioned, there is like no master framework. Uh, I just shared a framework which might can help you to structure with your thoughts. Uh, you can easily, it depends really on, 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 on the product which you choose, you can uh, exchange certain points which I share today. Uh, and so there is like not a fixed order. Sheakasha. <laughs> I think I forgot also to mention, because that's why I got a bit confused on a, on a certain slide, um, that this interview process is like not something um, what is now trendy and fancy and coming from Silicon Valley and it will disappear one day. I think that will become a necessity in any, in any product oriented and I think as well in a client oriented company where PMs will meet and work together with designers. Um, I, you know, since they will, um, will be working on a daily basis together, uh, it's, you know, we, we, need to, we need to find a way to, to come along each other, I mean, to, to work together. So um, this, you know, that designers have a word of like choosing who's the right partner um, might be uh, very crucial. As I mentioned, I was just briefly mentioning it, that before you even start that interview process, you are trying to figure out uh, what kind of skill sets that product designer needs to have. Of course, every answer is like, at the end, very subjective. But the key point, this is also what Evgeny mentioned, is like the communication. I don't necessarily judge the... Um, the, 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 the content, what he's saying, is the way how he's saying it. The, how much he explained in a certain way. He can tell me any bullshit. He can tell me any, you know, it's not even his favorite product. 
But if he's selling me the illusion and with good words, with good arguments that, uh, hey, this is why it's my favorite product, you are in, you know? I, I you know, yeah, they are not like, um, I don't have like a very detailed checklist. Um, 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 another question? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, really, I, I, um, I really believe me, it's, it's not that easy as you think, you know? The question sounds very easy, you know? We all would shoot now Instagram, Facebook, Medium, I don't know, like all the fancy, but, but I don't know. I'm, I, I really have to think right now. I, I don't know. I don't have like a think what I'm usually using every day. What I what I see right now is that, uh, for example, previously I made all my notes scribbled on a physical notebook. So I'm carrying constantly books with me, and it's heavy for my back. So I decided, well, Ramona, let's switch a bit to digital. And uh, let's transform your notes and uh, your scribbles into something digital, you know? So I was looking for a tool to like using it. So I wanted something very easy. I'm coming from like really pen and paper. So I want a product which is very easy to use, not without any crazy features and difficult, I don't know, thousands of features which are uh, overwhelming me. Uh, so I started, you know, like with notes, <laughs> on, you know, uh, just writing simple notes. Uh, then I switched to Google Docs, but Google Docs is like just not very structured. I wanted to have something more like which gives me the feeling of being like a book, like notebooks. Uh, so I'm still searching, you know. So this is like a bit my story of like trying to find my favorite product, but I... Uh, I do believe that you can use as well similar questions like that. What's your favorite product and why? Um, you can also, for example, I, I think that's, um, for example, when I applied at Facebook, uh, they were asking me to do an app critique. So they were um, choosing on my phone. So we connected um, to my phone and they picked up one app which I had on my phone and we tried to do like an app critique, describing who are the users, uh, what kind of problem that app might solve, or what, what is it serving, um, and so on. That is also something what you can prepare ahead. That's very, a common, common case, common use case, uh, which I, it's also not an easy task. Again, also for that I was not prepared, uh, and I... Well, there was not a catastrophe, so there, there was not a worst uh, case thing. But what I observed is that people, you know, people are not prepared. People are not preparing for this thing because, yes, a lot of people didn't know that they will encounter such question. Um, so they are trying to answer all the questions on the fly. And you can see that. You can feel that. You can hear that. And people struggle to answer because they are nervous, they don't know what to say, they didn't expect that. Um, and yeah, I, I, never, I, I, I don't remember that I encountered something very bad. And also when you are uh, in those type of interview sessions, um, nowadays, I think we are switching also slowly to uh, offline uh, interviewing sessions. But if you are as well online, um, have always like pen and paper next to you. Because if you encounter a question of like, uh, dis I don't know, describing, um, I mean, getting some other questions, be like prepared uh, with pen and paper to make some notes. Um, if you have, for example, that app critique, it's fine to have pen and paper next to you to write down simply some notes, um, um, ask maybe questions ahead. 
uh, and um, try uh, try to structure a bit your thought.